Hello YouTube and toy collectors all around the world. Welcome back to Hippotus channel guys. Alright guys, uh, in today's video I would like to review one of the best predator figures, a 6 inches scale uh, that has been put out by any toy companies and this is actually made by NECA Toys. NECA Toys make this uh, predator figures. Uh, this is the AVP uh, from their predator lines series 14 and 15. Uh, so here we have a um, bunch of predators here so I'm going to review all of them in one video because I don't want to do like any other reviewers online that I saw. Uh, you know they review all this pred like each of this predator one by one you know from scar from celtic uh, ancient one by one <clears throat> i don't i will i will not do that because you know my review is not so technical it's all about <clears throat> visual so i'm just going to review all of them together at the same time and so here we have the uh, NECA Predators from their series, uh, Predator series, uh, series 14 and series 15. Uh, here they, there are six Predators guys. Uh, so we have uh, here, we have Chopper, we have Chopper, and then so from the series 14 they released Chopper, uh, and then Unmasked Predator. So uh, I don't know what kind of Predator is that, but basically without mask. And then we have, um, uh, oh, Celtic. So Celtic from series 14 and then and then after that following the series 14 they released series 15 uh, I believe right now they have uh, up to series 18 uh, NECA Predator and we have series 15 in series 15 we have a Scar Predator and then after that Ancient uh, this is called Ancient Predator guys and then another Ancient Predator uh, and so you know Ancient Predators they have two different mask designs we're going to talk more about that in detail later on guys but basically I, I would like to review this uh, all these Predators at, uh, at the same time in this video and basically just give you all the details you know what I think about it and then we got to talk about their accessories and you know and, and basically all other things and alright okay, guys let's get it started so let's start from series 14 and but before that I have to say this I mean this Predator series from NECA has been a very successful line I bash Nike, NECA toys a lot of times I mean I don't I mean back in the day NECA wasn't really in, in my opinion I mean they they put out a lot of um, figures that in my opinion it was just like meh it, it wasn't really impressive at all I didn't really like their figures uh, to be honest um, I find I found them to be uh, you know not so detailed uh, compared to my father but this is uh, but they got better they got better and better uh, and NECA as a company so okay guys start from series 14 uh, so let's start with the chopper predator chopper predator okay so here we have a chopper predator maybe I'm, I'm gonna move him so you can see him closely so this is the chopper predator uh, from series 14 and all these all these predators guys to be honest I mean if I watch all the I mean I'm a predator fan and I watch the AVP series the predator series and I don't know where they got this name you know they, it wasn't mentioned at all in the movie but but then the official I, I mean I know all the names from Hot Toys because I also collect Hot Toys predators uh, but this one is um, uh, is six uh, is six inch scale uh the height of this figure is actually okay i got a ruler here so it's about eight inches eight and eight and a half inches almost yeah eight and a half inches so this 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 toy is actually this actual figure is pretty tall guys it's 8.5 inches uh and you and then each predator has his name uh the the name is derived from the the mask design so for example like for this one uh, we know that he's a chopper predator from the design of the mask so that's how how you identify each predator on their own so for example this one is a chopper predator and you can see like his mask is totally like this and you know we got lines here and the detail on this predator guys is really really good i mean this is a lot better compared to like the predator that was released back in 2004 by mcfarland and at the end of the day this was released in 2006 16 I believe it was in 16 beginning of 2016 or end of 2015 I don't remember exactly but you can imagine uh, the you know the the, the company uh, I mean my father released the first predator figure was and it was in 2003 in 2003 so it's been 10 years after that you know NECA released this one and this version their predator compared to McFarland just blow the McFarland out of the water seriously and I still remember uh, a lot of people you know um, 
uh, yeah, basically guys. Okay, let, let's 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 let me continue first with the with the chopper. But yeah, this is this is the the look of uh, his design on the mask. And look at the detail on his body. It's very very nice. The difference between this one and the Hot Toys, why Hot Toys is still uh, going to be an upscale figure, is because look at this the the net on his body. Like all these nets, it's all sculpted. But with with Hot Toys, you get like a real net. So it's made of cloth. So this one is just sculpted uh, in on his body. So that 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 that's why you know it's a it's not an upscale figure. But the detail, the paint job, is spot on. It's really nice. That's why I mean, if you look at from from distance, you you will see like a real that 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 seems like a real net. You know, even though it's not really a real net. But but yeah, because the paint job is so good. And the detail is really good. That's why. That's the reason why. And 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 Chopper, uh, and Neca also equip all these predators with bunch of accessories. But they are really smart. Uh, they don't equip each predator the same way as the other. So like for example, with uh, Chopper, we have uh, his. This is what is so distinctive about the Chopper Predator compared to the rest of Predators. So he got like uh, uh, this uh, dagger, but it's not fully extended uh, that you can hang on, on his shoulder. And then after that, cannon laser. And then he got like this, all this, uh, if you see this uh, skull, guys, the skull. So he got like all this, you know, the, the skull, uh, <coughs> you know, the, 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 the stick. Uh, 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 sorry guys the staff the staff you know uh, with with the with the skull at the end of it so yeah this is the special accessory that uh, hot Toys chopper predator has compared to the rest of the uh, predators so the other predators they don't have this this uh, skeleton uh, skeleton skeletons Oops, sorry guys, I want to focus. Okay, the the skeleton, I mean the skeleton staff like this, you know, they don't have it. Uh, yeah, but, uh, so yeah, that's the uh, Chopper Predator. So, in my opinion, to be honest, this is my least favorite uh, Predator for for the rest of them because uh, I find I find the mass design of the Chopper Predator is not so interesting compared to the rest. And then after that, here we have a Celtic Predator, another one from the Series 14. And in my opinion, this is one of the best uh, mass design that has been uh, put out uh, from the Predator series. And this is very very cool. Look at look at the design, guys. I really like Celtic um, the the mask. I mean the Look at this, it's, it's, it's like a robot, you know, and very modern. I really, really like it. I really dig the, the design of his mask and one of my favorites to be honest. And Celtic is also one of the, one of the most popular uh, predator from what I understand, you know, among all the predator fans. And yeah, so again, uh, the, their body is, uh, you know, they share the same body. Uh, the paint job is all the same, you know, they're all unicolors. So they're all the same guys. This is why it's so cool, like for you to get all of them together. So then, uh, you know, you can display them together and it's like a bunch of soldiers. Really, really good job. I mean, NECA, NECA toys really do a good job with, with the with the Predator series, guys, seriously. And this is one, of, I mean, they release really a bunch of Predator seriously, but you know, pre this Predator, that Predator, but I only pick up, I'm only interested in this one because in my opinion, among all the Predators that has been made, uh, in my opinion, AVP Predators has been the best because they, what I like about it is because they come up uh, with the uh, they have uh, armor they have armor and then their mass design is also very very attractive and this is why I really like AVP Predator the best uh, their armor the armor on the Predator make the uh, the Predator you know looks just so badass and then okay this is the second one from the series 14 and then after that we have uh, this one guys uh, this one is uh, unmasked uh, the predator so basically there's no mask and I really think that NECA is really really smart with the hot toys predator because it's an upscale figure you can remove the mask but this one uh, since there's a, you know like a chopper and uh, Caltech you know all these predators with a mask they, you cannot remove the mask so they release another predator without the mask so you have an option to display between uh, the one with the mask and the one without mask and this is the unmasked version and in my opinion NECA is really really smart doing this I mean they have they can milk you know more money you know from the customer and look at the sculpting here it's also very very good I mean seriously 
for the price that they're charging all these predators cars guys will set you back about 25 to 30 usd and especially if you get it all of them together and one pack from one series all of them together simultaneously uh you will pay uh i think you can pay around 25 bucks you know but if you get it individually maybe you will pay more like about 30 bucks 35 bucks and depending on which retailers you go for and yeah so look at look at the detail guys it's really really i mean it's really good but look at if you look at uh his head though i mean this is why in my opinion neka is like you know they're good but they're not like mcfarland look at the detail on 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 his head here it's not so good as McFarlane's detail, you know. It's not. This is not McFarlane's detail. In my opinion, McFarlane still is ahead of of NECA, and McFarlane doesn't even make toys anymore, from what I understand. So you can imagine. And this is in 2015, guys. So 10 years after McFarlane did their own uh, Predator line. So you can imagine how ahead was McFarlane. But you know what? We're not talking about McFarlane, guys. Sorry, guys. I'm a McFarlane fan, and uh, you know I don't want to talk about McFarlane here before I get bash. bash. But here the details are so good and the paint job is just so so but uh the the teeth and everything but it's still in my opinion though the teeth and everything uh you know i think that the the design of his of his face even though it's not like super 100 percent good but but the paint job and everything is 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 still acceptable and and from the distance it looks it looks badass seriously you know i i'm not it's not like a perfect you know it's not like hot toys or mcfarlane uh that kind of detail but still really really good especially for the money that you pay for this figure guys and then after that we move on to this for the so the series 15 and then uh, the most popular one uh, here I'm gonna take out the scar the scar predator I believe this is one of the most popular one uh, because his mask as you can see is very traditional and then there's like a mark here if you watch the movie he got I mean he, after he killed the alien he used the <clears throat> tail of the alien you know and then engrave use that as you know and the 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 aliens tail produced like an acid or something and then after that he rub it against his mask to to and then form this mark I don't know what you know the meaning of that but you know that's like a warrior sign oh yeah yeah no 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 the meaning is that after he killed his victim uh then it's like a victory you know this is like a victory mark from what i understand that's that's yeah that's that's what uh is the meaning of the mark and yeah look look at the the um <clears throat> the design of this mask very traditional and it looks really uh pretty much the same almost the same as the uh pre predator in the first movie if you watch it uh yeah so this is why it's one of the most popular one uh, from the predator series and also guys oh yeah also one thing that i want to uh, point out is that uh these predators you know what they're all the same uh the 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 net the body the finish in the body uh and the articulation i also believe they're the same but if you see like each individual individual like all of them they have a different you know different they have a little bit of difference here and there uh in terms of accessories and also in terms of armor like for example look at this is something that i have to point out like for example uh, uh this scar predator he he has like a full armor set on his body but uh and then and then look at look at look at this like he got he even has armor here on the torso on the stomach area but look at look at celtic he doesn't have it so he got he got armor on his chest but not on his uh, uh abdominal area and then if you look at okay i'm getting ahead of myself but look at look at uh ancient he doesn't even he doesn't even have a full armor on his body so his armor is just like half uh and also i mentioned you know about accessories like for example chopper has the skeleton stick but the rest doesn't have it and like for example with this scar predator is the same way uh, like for example uh celtic we see like he has a full ex fully extended uh staff but then he doesn't have from from what i can remember he doesn't have uh you know the retracted uh staff uh whereas with hot toys because it's an upscale figure they they uh they provide the fully extended uh the i mean sorry the the staff uh, of the predator series in hot toys it's 
it's retractable so basically you can you can extend it you can retract it but with NECA because this is not an upscale figure you know this is like a you know cheap version so they uh, provide you with uh, separate separately so one is fully extended one is not fully extended so like with Scar he doesn't even have staff so that's the difference that there's a difference in the accessory guys and then after that um, okay uh, and then we have a ancient predator the ancient predator here uh, oh yeah uh, the ancient predator here uh, here this is his design is slightly similar uh, to uh, scar predator but I think the difference is on here if I focus on the top you look at all these uh, ridges here yeah that's the difference guys and this is very very cool i really really like it i mean they're all they all have a very beautiful mask and if i have to pick the fav my favorite i think to be honest i think this is my it's really hard i mean it's really really hard for me to pick a favorite because all of them are beautiful uh okay maybe i'll give you the, my answer later on at the end of the video but that's his mask and then i also mentioned about the uh, lack of piece of armor on his chest here so he got like partial uh, you know uh, uh, partial armor here uh, and then yeah and then he got a, a fully extended spear but then he doesn't uh, and then oh yeah at the back see yeah he got uh, he also have a, a retracted spear that you can hang uh, onto his shoulder but not all so all of them you know they, they have like different accessories guys you know uh, here and there just minor differences this is why it's all is really good if you can just basically collect all of them so you can swap accessories bit among all of them and this is the last one guys from series 15 and this is the hot toast ancient predator as well but so in the movie avp they have ancient predator and there are two different designs and both of them are called the same uh, ancient predator and this one is also very interesting kind of like you know it looks uh, very very different and <clears throat> what I really like about this mask is that if you go here like here on his cheek there, there's a little bit of detail there it's really really nice and yeah uh, this is also another popular one uh, you know popular but not so common but yeah this is the ancient predator and NECA really really do a good job guys because McFarlane my phone was was really really like I don't know was a little bit disappointing he released the Celtic predator he released the uh, scar predator he released the AVP elder predator but he didn't even make chopper predator he didn't make the ancient predator he didn't make this version so NECA basically made all of them and also do a very very good job I wish I had the uh, microphone predator for you to compare it against with but seriously guys this one compared to the uh, microphone predator microphone predator it can go to the dustbin it's bullshit this one has a better detail better uh, well in terms of paint job they're different I like the paint job in McFarland's because it's darker uh, and this one is a little bit more yellowish but they look good they look really good even though it's more yellowish and uh, a little bit more cart cartoonish but they really I mean it, it does really look good it does work and I really like uh, this NECA Predator seriously they also they come up with a bunch of accessories my final predators they don't um, it doesn't have uh, as much accessory as uh, the NECA Predators so NECA beats them in terms of accessories and also guys before I forget the articulation it this is all fully articulated uh, action figure so you know from the I don't know one one figure I think has like more than 20 points of articulation from the neck the elbow the uh, the wrist the palm uh, yeah the foot uh, uh, very, very amazing with 20 about 20 more than 20 points of articulation so this is more articulated than my father's more accessories better details uh, and yeah it's just very amazing and what I like the best is that they make the entire pack of the predators uh, which is just so badass so I suggest you pick up all of them guys so you can display all of them together so as you can see like I form like an entire pack I'm I'm you know I'm just um, missing the elder which is from series 17 but after that you know I um, yeah but I saw the elder I wasn't really that interested though I saw the the uh, the face I don't really like it but maybe I, I will get him like someday but this is yeah, basically I just get it for fun because I already got the hottest predators but uh, this one interests me because it's such a, for such an affordable price you get like the predator disc of this kind of quality NECA really really did a very good job tremendous job guys so totally recommended and in my opinion this is the best 
predator figures that you can get at this scale, 7 inches scale, uh, and all of them, remember, 8.5 inches tall. This is the best predator in the six, with the 7 inches scale that you can get at this uh, at around this price, guys. Totally recommended. NECA really smoke. And so, yeah, that's, that's basically my review. This is the review of the NECA Predator. So, I'll see you in the next review of mine. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Bye-bye.